So one of the tools that I use every single day is Hook. Hook is like this bookmarking connection tool that allows me to bookmark URLs, but also files, documents, uh, applications, and, and all of these things. I've kind of figured out a way that I could use these things called X callback URLs to hotwire Hook into doing things that I don't even think the Hook team was thinking about when they made the application. I will warn you that this is not the intended use case for Hook. This is actually something that I've kind of figured out and I have talked with the team at Hook and it's it's what we would call a happy little accident. We don't we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. I'm going to show you one of my favorite ways that I hotwire Hook to increase my productivity around my Mac. So to get Hook to work with a bunch of different applications in ways that they weren't technically designed for, we're going to use a tool called the X callback URL. Think of an X callback URL as like just a normal link, but instead of a web page, you go to an app. And just like how many web apps these days have different pages that have different features and do different things, you can actually get to different parts of the application if you know what the X callback URL looks like. Uh, take for instance, one of my favorite tools, Drafts. Now, Hook itself has integration with Drafts, but what if we wanted to take it a step ahead? Instead of hooking to a single draft, what if we wanted to actually, every time we execute that hook, we want it to start a drafts action or workflow? Well, we can do that by knowing the callback URL for that draft. What it would be is drafts, x callback URL, open the ID for the document, or if we're wanting to create a new document, we would just use create, and then action and whatever the name of the action we want to run. It's that simple. Now, the hard part is getting hook to run that action whenever we fire it. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a dot hook file. A hook file is just a text file with a different extension on the end that tells hook to interact with it in a certain way. Normally when we activate hook, it creates a database entry and then we can modify that entry and give it some custom values by having it create a hook file for us. And when we do that, it kind of creates shortcuts and renames and things like that. Well, we're going to use that mindset, but we're going to kind of do it in reverse. We're actually going to create the hook file first, then we're going to add it to our hook database. Now you may be wondering, why would I do all of this? Well, the secret is Hook's ability to create context around things. We've all used these different kinds of tools that like to automate the process, but what happens when you don't always wanna automate? What happens when you have a process and you kind of just want to always run it for a particular type of setting? Well, a good example of this is I have meetings, a lot of meetings. And in those meetings, one of my roles is to make sure that I'm taking adequate notes. So I can create my own meetings template in drafts by using a drafts action that I've created that creates my meeting template file. So with Hook, it's super easy for me to hook this actionable URL, this X callback URL, to other items, other files, other applications, so that when I'm in that context and I need to do a thing, I don't have to think about where it is. I just trigger hook and it's there. That's it. I can't promise it'll always work like this, but I can promise that I'll keep figuring out ways to maximize how I use Hook uh, in my day-to-day -day process. It's definitely here to stay in my workflow. But that's gonna do it for this video. If you liked it, be sure to 
give it a thumbs up. If you're using Hook in your own unique ways, let me know down in the comments below. And of course, if you're not yet, be sure to subscribe. Thanks for listening. Wave. Take care. Tapped in. Lately, my life had a fast man, but it's ass plan. Fight for my life with the brass hands, and I still ball with a bad hand. Got an aerial point of view, but they'll never see the big picture through zoom lens. From the quicksand, make it push start, type of band's cool, but the same plan. I'm back on my bending rules for the kicks.